What's up guys? So it's been a while since I did a video and I just wanted to do kind of an update video and more just kind of a informational thing. There's some changes that I made. Uh, and you know, I'm a little bit behind schedule. Uh, I'm sure most people know it. I'm not doing a very good job though of, of staying in contact with everybody because I, 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 I'm, I'm super blessed because I, I, I couldn't imagine that this, uh, you know, would even be what it is now. Um, and I am about at capacity for being a one man operation. In fact, uh, I am making some advancements and being able to have some of my parts made uh, out of my shop, uh, especially some of the components that are interchangeable from all three sizes of the ramps, which is well, something I want to touch on. I, I got rid of the extended version of the ramp uh, and there's just one size now, as far as the length is concerned. Uh, there's still three different size truck ramps. Uh, there's the 51 inch, which is for the Ranger and the Tacoma type trucks. 55 inch, which is like a mid-range, you know, uh, I think the Nissan Frontier maybe, um, Dodge Dakota, like just weird size trucks. Uh, the over, when I'm saying, the, the sizes that I'm telling you now are actually the overall width. Um, it's not the size of the actual opening of the ramp. So a 51 inch ramp has a 48 inch opening. Uh, 55 inch ramp has a 52 inch opening and a 60 inch ramp has a 57 inch opening. Um, so, you know, you'll just keep that in your mind if you're thinking about which one you want or whatever. Um, but there are no longer like extended and standard. There wasn't a huge price difference. Um, and to be honest with you, there wasn't a huge design difference. The only real difference was the extra six inches allowed me to move the legs to a different location, which helped with uh, scraping. If you had a higher truck or if you had a, uh, a stand on kind of mower with a shorter wheelbase. So, but when I introduced the adjustable legs, it kind of eliminated the need for two different size ramps. And having those two different sizes made it so that I had to keep, um, you know, two different sizes of expanded metal, um, and actually, technically, it, I had to keep six different sizes, but, um, and then all of the pre-cuts. I had to have some extended pre-cuts and some standard pre-cuts, and I was having issues with shipping. Um, the extended versions were a little bit too tight in the box, and it was causing some of the ramps to get damaged on uh, shipments, and that caused a huge delay for me uh, recently, which is one of the reasons why I'm kind of behind schedule right now. Um, but, uh, so now there's just one size. There is a 24 inch dovetail option though. The standard ramp, any, any ramp I've ever sold only ever came with an 18 inch dovetail. But you can now, if you want to get a 24 inch dovetail, uh, that option is $150 right now. I think it's gonna go up though, uh, either to 175 or 200. And that is mostly because there's an adjustment in my shipping costs. And that's, again, that stems from uh, some of the packaging issues that I've had and the damage and all that stuff. So. Um, but that's on the site right now for 150 and I, I haven't changed it yet, uh, but I am going to change the price on that. And then I also add, um, added an option to have it painted. I just paint it myself. It's an HVLP spray gun. I use Rust-Oleum and, you know, I just give it a, a couple of coats. I don't prime it and acid etch it and all that stuff. It's just basically what you would do if you got an unfinished ramp, unless you're having it powder coated. Um, and, uh, you know, and it's, you know, it's a pretty, it's a pretty decent, durable coating. Uh, it's not going to hold up to all kinds of crazy salt and beatings and stuff. You'll have to recoat it maybe once a year, maybe once every two years. But, um, you know, it won't, you'll be able to use it right away out of the box and you won't be, you know, pressed for time with trying to get it painted. And, you know, it, it's kind of awkward to try to paint. You lose a lot of the spray when you try to spray the expanded and, and all those things. So I figured I'd try to take some of that out of the equation. Um... So, but you know, adding that option adds a little bit of time. I had to get a, a place set up where I could paint without it, you know. I'm in Florida, so, you know, rain's a, a pretty common thing. So I, I needed to be able to do it whether it was raining or not. Um, so there's that. Uh, so I changed the size of the ramps. I added the dovetail. Um, uh, I offer or added the painting option. I also changed the way that I wire uh, the ramps now. So. Before, if you have some of the earlier ramps, you know that I, I used uh, wiring and I integrated it into the ramp. So, you know, I drilled holes, ran the wires inside of the, inside of the tube. And if you wanted to have it powder coated, 
you know, you'd have to cut the wires and pull them out and then try to feed them all back and it messes up the grommets and all that stuff. It's just a pain in the ass. So now it's a, a, a whole exterior harness that you can just take the entire thing off at once. Um, and that will prevent you from having to have the issues that come with having it powder coated. So um, most people still uh, order it there because you know they're either going to have it powder coated herself or they don't want to pay the 150. It's you know the the 150 doesn't really give me much of a profit or incentive. It's just something that I want to be able to offer as a more complete product. So so there's that. Um, I will be offering powder coating soon. We've been in a process of building a powder coating oven for months. <laughs> we were kind of kicking around the idea of whether it was going to be electric or gas. We've decided to go with gas. Um, we've been able to powder coat for a while, just not something the size that we have. My, my brother's been powder coating for a while, and he's, you know, mostly uh, accessories and some custom pieces that uh, people request. But, um, you know, for, auto, for cars, not for anything that I do. But... Uh, you know, we were in a process of building, but, you know, he was buying a house and moving and all that stuff, so we didn't know whether we were going to wire it or whatever. So we're working on it, but in the meantime, I just, I don't offer it, because if I had to have it done, um, you know, it would add time and expense to me that I'd have to pass on to whoever's having it done, and it literally would be just cheaper for you to buy it and take it to a local powder coater uh, and handle it yourself. So until I can do it in-house, um, you know, I, I'm, I don't plan on offering it. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's what else I got to update. Um, just, you know, trying to organize the shop in a way where I can continue to, to add. I, I, I'm getting so many orders a month now that it's becoming hard for me to even store the material, um, even between this shop and my garage. So I imagine before the end of the year, I'll be in an, an external shop. And more than likely when I get there, uh, is when I will start to offer the powder coating because at this point I just you know I can't I don't even have room here to do it so um, so that that'll be that the spring assist will be out by Monday uh, it'll be on the site I don't know what the price is yet there will be there'll be two options and you know I, I'm not really sure how long I'm going to keep the two options up I'm just going to kind of set it up as a pilot and see how it works. The first option is would be the which would make the most sense if you're buying a ramp going forward, um, and that is uh, it'll be a system that I built that works specifically for my ramp, uh, and it'll be a bolt-on design. So if you want to buy it even after you've already purchased a ramp or you have one already, uh, and you want to add it to it, uh, you can do that. But it will be a two-tube system. Uh, and you'll be able to use it even if you don't have a bed rail. Um, and the only downside to it is that it's going to install in the ends, in the end tubes of the dovetail end. So I, what I'll do is I'll grab my template and show you what I'm talking about. So this is what I use when I'm making uh, swing arms. I just bolt this to my welding table and uh, you know I'm able to line everything up and, and make everything the same. But this is kind of indicative of a dovetail end uh, that, uh, they, uh, of the ramps that I, that I built. And there's an open end here uh, that obviously comes all the way through. And what the way that it's going to install is it's going to install either on the top rail and bolt into the expanded so that you can just kind of adjust it to the height you want and all that stuff, or it will install inside of this tube. Now, if this comes to a point on your truck where you can't see all the way through it, like there's an obstruction from your truck itself, that system is not going to work for you. Um, so, but if you have the room, then, you know, then it'll be an easy install and it will go on and come off with your ramp as you as you remove it if you if you remove it often enough for it to matter um, the other option is going to be a there's an off-the-shelf system um, called an easy gate it's just one tube it says it's good for 185 pounds uh, I don't know how that's going to translate to the ramp system that I have the bifold section of a 60 inch ramp is about 113 115 pounds um, now, obviously, you're not lifting that entire weight because of, you know, pivot points and leverage and things, but 
uh, with the bifold design, it doesn't allow you to mount the spring chain or the connection point uh, in its optimal location, which would mean like, so the ramp is, you know, the bifold sections of the ramp, let's say, are, are 80 inches. And typically you'd come down maybe a third of the way, uh, which would be about 60 inches. The problem is the bifold, when it's closed, is only 40 inches. Uh, so you can't really install that in a way where it's most optimal. So I'm not sure how that one spring system is gonna is gonna work. If it does, you know, then there'll be a kit for sale on the website for you to buy that spring assist, and then using my installation kit to bolt it together. Uh, so there'll be a few options, but the main option is gonna be a system that I designed myself uh, that that works specifically for my ramps and you'll be able to install it either on your bed rail if you have one or if you don't it'll mount to the ends of the dovetail so um, i think that's it for updates uh, if you have a ramp with me right now that's late i apologize i am going to be sending you something for the the, the, the delay um, i'm having a hard time communicating with everybody I, I was having an issue even knowing the dates that i was going to get them out i changed the 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 deliver or the ship schedule to 14 business days because i just can't keep up at 7 to 10 at least until after uh, this company starts to make my other parts for me. Um, I don't know if I even mentioned that, but I'm going to start having some of my pieces that are that connect uh, for all three ramps made outside so that I don't have to spend time doing those. Uh, and I can spend more time developing and improving. And then, um, you know, I'm going to end up moving into building whole trucks at some point. But, um, you know, not huge trucks, small trucks. The, my idea of all of this is compact, small footprint, affordable, things like that. So anyway, uh, I hope this made sense. And again, if you have a ramp with me, uh, if your ramp is super duper late, it will go out. Uh, if it hasn't already gone out, it'll go out uh, before, um, well, it'll go out Monday uh, because I have five now that I'm going to have to try to get out and get done by Sunday night. Um, and uh, if you have a custom ramp, you know, the time frame is a little bit off. I can't, you know, I can't throw it on the template table. There's some pieces that I've got to do. And then also there's a couple of people who are getting some things that are kind of like pilot it things. I don't know how they're going to work yet. So um, there's a little delay there too. But um, I had some issues with my shipping company that just kind of set me back. It set me back almost 19 days. Uh, and I imagine it has to do with this COVID-19 thing. But mostly it was just there was some kind of a thing that changed with my my shipping company and they uh, changed a lot of the things that they do. They started damaging ramps, they collapsed my boxes and then they threw it over this. Because the box was squashed, the sides blew out and because the sides blew out, they ran it through some conveyor thing and it measured it at a size that put it into this unauthorized oversized package. So instead of me paying 280 to $300 to ship a ramp, they were charging me like 1300 bucks. They did it for three ramps before I got the money back. Uh, so I had to put a hold on it and so that's you know that's one of the reasons why I'm so far behind because I just I couldn't uh, you know I, I, I couldn't get those out and then even building became difficult because I, I only have so much room so I can't like stack 10 or 12 or 15 ramps so either way uh, I'm, I'm still plugging away and um, I'll try to do a better update video here in the next couple of weeks with the spring assist and I have some information about the bed rail system I can't the, the wedge anchor design, if you order the bed rail system on the site now, it will not come with the wedge anchor. Um, and if you look at the photos, you'll see on the site that they're not, it's not the wedge anchor design anymore. They're just a drop-in, bolt-in design. Uh, and that's just because I've found that more than half of the, the wedge anchor design systems that I've sold, I've had to send uh, standard bolt-in anchors because a lot of the truck's bed rail or will stick pocket holes are not solid all the way down and inside. So there's not a lot of stuff for it to expand and connect to. And it was just causing issues that were taking me too long to try to find workarounds for. So going forward, if you order the bed rail system for me, the price hasn't changed, um, but it'll be a, it'll be a drop-in bolt-in design. It's still super easy to install. Um, and uh, nothing else has changed. But uh, the bed rail systems do come painted. Um, so even if you order a ramp that's not painted, the bed rail systems and the racks and all those things will be painted going forward. Um, so will the swing arms and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. So, uh, like I said, I'll try to do another update video here soon. Sorry it's been so long since I, I updated everybody. Um, 
And uh, if you guys don't, if you're not on my Instagram, you should go and subscribe if you if you want more you know common updates. And there's a lot of uh, customer photos and a lot of like you know some people who have bought my system that have added to it and did things that are super awesome. So go there and check it out. It's Mo and Go Systems. It's at Mo and Go Systems um, on Instagram. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not a social media guy, so I'm, I'm not like begging for subscribers or followers. But if you're interested in the information and the process and just the journey of what I'm doing, you know, go check it out and see what the deal is if you're even on Instagram. Um, other than that, I'm going to get back to building and uh, get this video uploaded. And uh, I hope everybody's doing good and staying healthy and sane and all this uh, craziness. All right, guys.